federal health care website was apparently kept in the dark about serious failures in the website's security. Those failures could lead to identity theft among people buying insurance. The project manager testified to congressional investigators behind closed doors, but our Cheryl Ackeson has obtained the first look at a partial transcript of his testimony. Henry Chow, healthcare.gov's chief project manager at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, gave nine hours of closed door testimony to the House Oversight Committee in advance of this week's hearing. In excerpts we've obtained, Chow was asked about a memo that outlined important security risks discovered in the insurance system. Chow said he was unaware of this September 3rd government memo written by another senior official at CMS. It found two high-risk issues, which are redacted for security reasons. The memo said the threat and risk potential to the system is limitless. The memo shows CMS gave deadlines of mid-2014 and early 2015 to address them. But Chow testified he'd been told the opposite. What I recall is what the team told me is that there were no high findings. Chow testified security gaps could lead to identity theft, unauthorized access, and misrouted data. According to federal standards, high risk means the vulnerability could be expected to have a severe or catastrophic adverse effect on organizational operations, assets, or individuals. It was Chow who recommended it was safe to launch the website October 1st. When shown the security risk memo, Chow said, I just want to say that I haven't seen this before. A Republican staff lawyer asked, do you find it surprising that you haven't seen this before? Chow, yeah, I mean, wouldn't you be surprised if you were me? He later added, it is disturbing. I mean, I don't deny that this is a fairly non-standard way to proceed. Late today, Health and Human Services told us the privacy and security of consumers' personal information are a top priority, and consumers can trust that their information is protected by stringent security standards. Scott, the author of the security memo, Tony Trinkle, retired from CMS last week. No reason was given. Cheryl Ackeson in our Washington newsroom. Cheryl, thank you. Negotiations over Iran's nuclear program seem to fall